And how's it going guys, Joshua Lefemi here live from LA. And if you're a video editor, then you gotta watch this because I'm about to present to you the future. All right guys, two things. Let's say that you're at the beginning of your post-production career and you have number one, no money, and number two, no skill. This could mean number one, that you can't afford fancy computer hardware. This could prevent you from getting professional post-production jobs that require you to use 4K footage and processor heavy visual effects. This could be number two, that you have little or no experience with professional video editing software. This is a massive hurdle that could prevent you from competing with creatives with decades more experience than you do. Number three, this could mean that you have limited or no experience with professional VFX software. This prevents you from effectively and consistently using high value skills like compositing, rotoscoping, tracking, or animation to create engaging social media content that actually pops. Let's back it up a little bit. The future of creativity has been slowly approaching us for a while. Over the course of my career, I've seen so many seemingly impermeable barriers to entry completely destroyed. I'm talking about the video DSLR revolution of 2008, where low-end HD video camera setups went from about $8,000 to under $3,000, then down to $700 over the course of just a couple of years. We couldn't forget the revolution of camera stabilization in 2015. I'm talking about when the Ronin M's new electronic gimbal technology brought the price of camera stabilization down to $1,500 from the $10,000 Movi alternative. And that Movi was an affordable alternative to the $100,000 Steadicam setup, which was a weighted gimbal. I could talk about how subscription services used the sheer volume of this new developing market of creatives to bring royalty-free music, stock footage, video editing software, VFX plugins, etc., from a flat fee of sometimes multiple thousands of dollars to a monthly fee of just tens of dollars. I won't even mention how in the course of 10 years, drones have replaced production helicopters in a lot of respects. Small action cameras are now in existence, and 360 cameras went from a potential half a million dollar rig to a $300 miniature camera. We live in a time when the fast advancement of technology and the increased competition in the market has driven prices way down and simultaneously have pushed quality and innovation way up. So going back to the question at hand, what does the future look like? I'll tell you that the future of video post-production is gonna take advantage of two rapidly developing technologies, increased internet broadband speeds and artificial intelligence. So here's how it started. Last December, my bro and fellow channel teacher Dave told me about this incredible company based out of New York called Runway. They're this startup, again, based right in the middle of Manhattan, that's attempting to completely revolutionize and change the way that you approach video editing via their product SQL, by allowing you to completely throw away the need for software or expensive computer hardware through browser-based editing. They are additionally transforming the world of visual effects by highly intelligent machine learning to bring usually complex VFX workflows into the hands of a complete novice. One of Runway's most popular features called Green Screen uses machine learning to give you the ability to rotoscope rapidly moving objects with literally two clicks. Now think about this, you know that this workflow would have taken hours to do in normal VFX software. A lot of you guys know I was in New York for two months and at the tail end of that trip, I got to sneak in a meeting with Runway's founder, Chris. It's funny, I remember when I met Chris for the first time, I just told him, bro, this software is amazing. But I think the one thing that might be hard for me to vibe with is the browser-based video editing. I mean, I personally really loved Runway's AI-powered VFX workflows. I mean, think about how just green screen is gonna completely just change the amateur social media space. I asked Chris, is there a way that you could possibly make just a software version of SQL? So I didn't have to upload all my project source footage onto the web before I started editing. I mean, it makes sense, right? It just seems like a bottleneck that I'd wanna avoid. And it's funny, Chris just smiled and looked at me and I could tell this is a subject that he had probably thought about deeply before. I'm sure other people had asked him the same thing. And he just smiled and said, Josh, think about the future. In the very near future with the adoption of 5G and other developing technologies, it's gonna be possible for everyone to have access to high speed, fast internet. Accessible and cheap fast internet is gonna be just as accessible as anything. And the headache of taking like an hour to upload a full project of source footage is gonna be a problem of yesteryear. That's right, just think about it. Uploading large gigabyte folders into the cloud is gonna now be a breeze. And additionally, check out the crazy upside of having your footage already uploaded into your web browser. Number one, your timeline's playback speed is no longer gonna be reliant on your computer's processing power because you're not editing your footage on your computer you're editing it in your browser. 
So think about this. You could be on a $100 Google Chromebook laptop doing heavy VFX intensive projects on 4K footage. If you start to think about the number of people around the world right now that cannot afford a $4,000 laptop, you're going to start to realize how big of an impact this new workflow is going to have. Second benefit of already having your footage uploaded into the cloud, you'll never lose anything. I'm talking about your source footage and your project files, because remember, it's all stored up in the cloud. And the third benefit of having your project already up in the cloud is you'd be able to share your project file with any additional editor. Again, along with your source footage automatically attached, mind you. But now I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of this web browser based software so you can see the future today. Runway is separated into two main components. SQL, which we already said was the web browser based video editing software app, and ML Lab, a super creative mix of highly intelligent AI based features that use motion learning to do some crazy amazing feats in the world of VFX with little or no post production skills needed at all. SQL has a very familiar interface to most track based video editors. You're able to upload your footage, images, and audio and store it in an assets window. You can import and export MP4 footage and wait for it, ProRes footage as well. SQL is crazy and ever expanding like by the month, so watch this space. ML Lab is just ridiculous. It's where Runway publishes open source, pre-trained machine learning models that you can use in your creative projects. Models are basically algorithms that find patterns within a given data set. These models can do a bunch of pretty incredible things like intelligently detect facial features, render photographs as illustrations, perform object removal in video, denoise photos, or even create Picasso paintings from video stills, intelligently auto-creating beautiful paintings from your own ugly amateur scribble, basically intelligently guessing what you were trying to create if you were a better artist. And that's it for now, guys. Runway ML can be accessed through their website, runwayml.com. There are three different tiers that you can choose from, the first one being the absolutely free starter tier. I'm currently paying $35 per month for the creator tier because I needed access to those dope 4K exports and access to all the AI tools. And then lastly, there's the pro tier. That's $100 a month and gives you early access to all the new beta tools that are coming out all the time. So guys, I just gave you a taste of the future. And you can thank me by subscribing to this channel, liking this video, and clicking on the notification bell so you can be alerted when we upload new content. Thanks for watching, guys. And as always, remember to keep it chill.